Let me show you what I'm keeping first. Yes, I shop for myself. Action. in Texas so we just got back from Huntsville the rusty chippy show rusty chippy show that's what it was called and we they had a an antique show there at their um, fairgrounds it was like a little mini flea market but after we went through there we went on into Huntsville and went to some of the antique shops there and we hadn't didn't realize it but we hadn't been there for like four to five years and we missed out on a lot luckily they it was a saturday evening and that was their sipping and staying open late night i was wondering why all the antique shops had drinks for you they had mimosa wine you know whatever you wanted they had drinks for you while you shopped and they stayed open until 7 30 so that was good for us because we got finished right about seven so let me show you real quick of everything I got from there. So here's my haul from Huntsville. Now, let me show you what I'm keeping first. Yes, I shop for myself. I'm always on the lookout for these grapes now. Um, I have this, I think this is my third set. So, because I'm starting a mid-century collection because I need another collection. Who doesn't? And this is one of my other newest collections, is um, these uh, paper mache type of things like this. Some of them are pin cushions. This is a lipstick holder. Some of them are a hairspray cover. And of course, um, these uh, chalkware fish. I'm doing putting those in my bathroom. And I've collected these metal flower pins. I'm putting a bunch of these in my, um, I collect the the metal frogs too and I stick these in the frogs and I have a shadow box in my bathroom window where they all hang and I just started collecting these which I always find those hard to find I just picked up a set from George the antique no man and then of course this is just the colors of my kitchen so I don't think I'll be able to sell it for much I'm probably gonna just keep that and put some flowers in it for my kitchen now that's what I'm keeping. Oh, and these. I've been on the lookout for these since, since for a while now, but um, I had one like this as when I was a kid. So I happened to run across these in Huntsville. So I picked up both of them. <laughs> now, let's go here. Here, I picked up some salt and pepper shakers. Uh, the lady gave me a real good deal on all these salt and pepper shakers. We have some frogs, the pink um, aluminum ones. And then we have these cute little doggies. The roosters. Some little elephants. I'm looking through the camera there. Mm. This one's on a ball and this one's throwing his trunk up. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, just yelling. Some... Um, uh, peacocks, I guess those are. And then, of course, my stuff. And then, look at these beauties. I got a deer planter here. And I got this little elfy guy. You know, he wasn't much of anything. But I know his paint was all chippy off. But I did not realize he was missing a wing. <laughs> the string's in the way. I didn't know that these pixies had wings but he has part of one anyways I've got him anyways um, I thought he'd be good for assemblage as well so he's cute right there got this other little deer planter yellow the bright yellow and he's a little cutie and these yellow pixies are salt and pepper shakers from Japan but I see a pixie I pick him up okay I say I see a pixie I pick him up 
Now, these are adorable. Uh, and these are probably the older ones, but um, his uh, collar is just a little bit chip right here. But the other one, there was one more, but his hoe collar was chipped in the front. So I left him behind. I don't know if I should have or not, if I should have went ahead and gotten him anyways, because the collar part of him in the back was good, but it was just all chipped in the front. And I almost didn't notice, but anyhow, I left him behind. And I don't know, he kind of looks like a clown pixie or something. But he's from Japan. And then this little maroon pixie. It says 1975 on the bottom. But I don't know. Didn't say Japan. And then this little elfy pixie laying his head on a mushroom right there. And then look at these beautiful assemblages. Here's an Easter one. And it's on a little brush. Ain't that cute? So adorable. Then I got this one. She is just adorable. I'm always looking out for those little guys, but they used her for this assemblage on a phone. Got the hello sign right here. And got um, some flowers on the side and a little butterfly over here. Just really cute. What do y'all think about her? I mean, what better way to do with these phones and then we have this assemblage of a lady head with her poodle I mean this is three in one we got our poodle we got our lady head and we got assemblage on top she's so cute so those will be coming here soon and then I thought this little mouse boot the little blue mice were really cute. The blue mice. They're just blue. They're just cute. And then we got this fairy lamp. Now, this one is, can you tell, it's missing some of its flashing. So, there you go. But, it's a fairy lamp, right? And then we have some more salt and pepper shakers. These are those metal ones. They're metal. Um, we got the little stoves, little black and white teapots with roses on them. These are all metal right here. And we got our, what is this um, recording called? Salophone? Or something and a black one and then we got the log cabin and the stoppers inside there so I got those salt and pepper shakers and then I got this cute little spice tin set and the red flowers uh, I thought that was really cute you can hang it on the wall so, that was super cute. And then I got this guy. Okay, I know he goes to something. He's supposed to go on top of something. His bottom broke, but I think he was cute enough by himself. So, I went ahead and picked him up. Maybe he'll be a good crafts piece. I don't know. Or just sitting on your shelf, just peeking over something. Or maybe you have a jar that it would fit him. But it's a juicer, so it could still work. Anyways, I got him because I liked him. Oh, and then I got this other little booty foot shoe of a, with a doggy on it from Japan. And he cute. Make a great little planner. And then I got this little plastic doll. 
I just, just a, one of those thin little plastic, good little craft piece. I thought she was cute. Of course, I think everything's cute, right? Don't we all think everything's cute? And then this is my first set of decals that I found. I found the ivy one and some apples. I wish I could find the children's decals because I like getting those uh, baby beds, the metal baby beds, and um, uh, re refurbishing them. Then I, I picked up some jewelry. I'm going to have a jewelry sale one day, someday soon. And then here's a pen I'm not going to keep. I will be putting that in because it's cherries. Ain't that fun? And then... I just love the color green. So it was a single mug, but picked it up anyways. We like fun mugs. And then I got this cute little squirrel. What does it say on the bottom? Heads? Is that a H E D D? Anyways, is that a butterfly on his nose? He's cute. Little figurine. And then the dream pet. Here's a doggy dream pet. I did see several of these, but uh, I do have a couple that I haven't listed yet, so I need to do that. This is a doggy surfing on a surfboard. What a dream. And he had a little flower in his hair. She, I guess, I don't know. But he's surfing. Anyways, I thought that was cute. So, all right, y'all. Tell me what your favorites here. What did you like the best? I can name several. There's several I should be keeping, but, oh my God, I got so much of a collection now that I don't need any more collections. So, this is all coming to a sale soon near you. So remember, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Tell me what your favorite was. And click that notification bell so you know the next time I upload and when my live sales are. My live sales are every Wednesday at 6 30 central 7 30 eastern so y'all come see us you never know what i'm going to have up in there and thanks for watching my video guys see y'all soon